So, Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. Ang tanong, is it really an ultra smartphone? Hey guys, it's your Tiger Mary and welcome back to my channel. As you guys saw from our previous Samsung video, which is the Samsung Galaxy S21 Plus camera test, we tested out the capabilities of the S21 Plus, specifically yung kanyang camera setup. And as promised, for the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra, this time, it will be my long-term review. Kung maalala nyo, we did an unboxing and first impressions video for the Phantom Black version of this phone. And this time, I opted for the Phantom Silver. Alam naman natin lahat that this is Samsung's everything phone. Siyempre, more cameras, meron siyang S Pen compatibility, beefier specs, and a better looking design. To those who haven't seen my unboxing and review video at hindi alam kung magkano ang S21 Ultra sa market right now, it is priced at 69,990 pesos for the 256GB model. Design muna ang pag-usapan natin, guys. To be honest, maganda ang itsura ng S21 Ultra to the point na hindi na ako nang bother to put a case on it unless na lang gusto kong gamitin yung kanyang S Pen na merong kasamang case. Alam ko na medyo risky na hindi siya lagyan ng case, but the finish of this device kasi is matte. So, hindi siya smudge magnet and guys, Parehas na kulay ng S21 Ultra ay matte. Which is good kasi nakakatulong talaga to minimize the smudges. So yeah, whatever color you choose, you will get a matte finish back. The S21 Ultra and of course the Samsung Galaxy S21 Plus that we previously talked about has a smooth Corning Gorilla Glass back. While the regular Samsung Galaxy S21 naman ay polycarbonate plastic ang meron. I just wanna put it there para alam nyo guys yung differences nila when it comes to its build quality. But honestly, ko pagkatabi-tabihin natin itong tatlong phones na to side by side, only average consumers will be able to tell the difference. And we all know that the S21 Ultra is a really big smartphone. And for me, yung kanyang size, I do feel like it's not for me. So again, build quality, wala talaga akong masasabi or marereklamo sa smartphone na to. Because again, Corning Gorilla Glass Victus front and the back, aluminum naman kanyang frame at medyo may pagka-glossy finish. So the only downside that I probably see on this smartphone is of course the size and the weight. Personally, as a consumer, medyo hindi ganito yung klase ng size ng smartphone yung kaya kong or yung prefer kong gamitin sa pang-araw-araw. But if i-consider natin at i-compare natin yung kanyang size to the iPhone 12 Pro Max, mas matangkad kasi ito pero mas malapad naman ang 12 Pro Max making it a little more comfortable to hold. And dagdag na rin natin doon yung kanyang curved back design compared sa sharp edges na meron tayo with the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Ngayon, kahit na wala naman na sa akin yung Phantom Black na S21 Ultra, actually, medyo hinahanap-hanap ko siya. But for me, not to miss it that much, bumili ako ng case sa Samsung. It's this one. And ito yung klase ng case na may kasamang S Pen sa kanya. Ito siya. And natatanggal. Pwede mo rin namang ibalik if you don't feel like using the S Pen. Medyo madumi na nga siya kasi ito yung tipo ng case na dikitan ng mga dumi, lalo na yung mga puti-puti. But anyway, mabilis naman din siyang linisin gamit ang microfiber cloth. Do take note na if you will be buying the S21 Ultra, it doesn't come with a free S Pen. I just wanna put it out there, baka kasi yung iba nag expect kapag bumili sila ng S21 Ultra. It's your choice if you will be getting the S Pen like this one or kaya naman this case na may kasama ng S Pen. If you'll ask me personally, mas gusto ko na yung case at may S Pen para pwede mong itago yung S Pen if you don't feel like using it kasi pag S Pen lang ang binili mo, pwede mo siyang mawala. So yes, the S21 Ultra has an S Pen support. But guys, S21 Ultra lang ha. Baka in-expect nyo na pati yung siblings niya na S21 Plus at S21 ay po pwede, hindi po. Actually, this S Pen, sobrang helpful niya. Especially if you are, you know, this type of person who likes taking notes, who loves to draw. Or kaya naman yung work nyo, kailangan madalas kayong pumirma ng mga documents. It's actually a really huge help. Ako naman bilang isang tech reviewer, actually, Actually, I find it really helpful every time that I need to sign contracts or jot down notes kapag may mga ideas ako na naiisip at gusto ko na matandaan ko siya. Kung gusto niya ng quick comparison sa 
S-Pen na meron tayo sa Note series, lalo na sa mga naka-Note smartphone dyan, medyo mas mahaba at mas malaki ang ating S-Pen dito compared to that. At meron din po siyang 9 millisecond latency, meaning pasok siya sa standard kasi again, sa Note series, yun na rin ang standard. And most importantly, wala siyang Bluetooth built-in, so baka nag expect lang kayo na magagawa niyo yung air gesture or yung Harry Potter magic na sinasabi ko every time that I review the Note series. Display-wise, actually, I love it. Yun lang ang masasabi ko. It's one of the best display na nakita ko so far sa mga high-end smartphones na nare-review ko for this year, 2021. It's capable of running 120Hz refresh rate habang kayo ay naka-quad HD resolution. Which is good kasi kung mahalala nyo ang S20 series at ang Note 20 Ultra, you are only forced to choose between quad HD resolution habang naka 60Hz or kaya naman naka 120Hz ka pero full HD resolution lang ang po pwede. For me, ito ang best screen ng Samsung. Yung curved edges niya ay very subtle lang and not as pronounced compared to the previous Samsung smartphones. And actually, if we were to compare it to the iPhone 12 Pro Max sa display, medyo mas madaling hawakan itong smartphone na to na mayroong 6.8 inches na display than that smartphone na mayroong 6.7 inches of display. The in-display fingerprint sensor is actually redesigned. Gumagamit siya ng ultrasonic technology which is fine. Mabilis naman siya pero I don't really see it faster than the previous S20 Ultra. Kumbaga parang hindi sila nalalayo. But during this time, COVID season nga, medyo mas helpful talaga na gumamit ng in-display fingerprint sensor kaysa ng face unlock kasi hindi mo na kailangan alisin pa yung inyong face mask. Now, how about the cameras? Again, guys, the reason why we have a really huge camera bump here eh, dahil sa technology na meron tayo behind it. And yes, ang pinaka-obvious difference din ng S21 Ultra sa kanyang siblings ay yung set of cameras na meron tayo dito. Meron tayong second generation 108 megapixels main camera na merong f1.8 aperture, a 12 megapixels ultra wide camera, and... Do take note, may dalawa tayong telephoto camera sa S21 Ultra which are the 10 megapixels that can shoot up to 3 times and a 10 megapixels that can shoot up to 10 times. And lastly, meron din siyang laser autofocus. Having two telephoto cameras guys, alam ko medyo you might think it's too much but they offer kasi different perspectives. Isang 3 times and isang 10 times all without having to go digital and hybrid in between. Yung default 12 megapixels from from the main camera, actually maganda yung kinalabasan ng photos, they were excellent. Kahit na yung iba guys ay a bit over sharpened for my taste. Kung medyo hindi nyo gusto yung output ng photos taken by that, you guys can opt and use the 108 megapixels. While for the ultra-wide camera of the S21 Ultra, they are good. Actually, Samsung is one of the brands that produces really great ultra-wide shots even on their higher mid-range phones. They don't lose that much color from the wide to ultra-wide. Okay din ang kanyang dynamic range. If we were to talk about yung kanyang camera application, actually, may mga bago sa kanya and medyo similar na rin naman from the S21 Plus that we previously talked about. Meron siyang tinatawag na single take mode, which is not new, but it allows you to select the duration of the capture and makakapili rin kayo guys ng mga shots that you want to take. And the pro mode, pwede na rin natin siyang gamitin kahit tayo ay naka-ultra wide, hindi lang yung kanyang wide camera. For the director's view, actually, marami ng mga smartphones na merong ganitong klase ng feature. But what I like about the S21 Ultra, yung viewfinder niya, kaya niyang ipakita sa inyo, yung apat na cameras all at once, para makapili kayo and switch which one to use for recording. Ngayon, usapang night mode naman tayo. Actually guys, yung kanyang night mode shots, they were impressive with just the right sharpness, very low noise, and good color saturation. You can also use the night mode while taking ultra wide or even the telephoto lens. And lastly, para naman sa kanyang main camera, meron tayong 40 megapixels quad bayer 
shooter. Selfie photos are great. It's one of the best selfie shots that I've had so far for this year, 2021. So yes, the selfie game with this phone is strong. And lastly, the phone can shoot hanggang 8K video recording and kaya niya rin to shoot 4K at 60 FPS at hindi lang ito sa main camera but across all the cameras including the ultra wide, the telephoto lens, and even the front camera. Now, how about the performance? Ang 70,000 din ba yung kaya gi offer ng performance ng S21 Ultra? Actually, guys, mabilis siya for two reasons. Unang una, it is using the brand new Exynos 2100 para dito sa atin sa Pilipinas. And of course, the software, which is One UI 3.0 based on Android 11. Wala akong experience when it comes to the S21 Ultra na Snapdragon version. But for the Exynos 2100, kaya ko naman siyang i-represent at i-share sa inyo guys yung naging experience ko. For me, it's a powerhouse smartphone. Sobrang effortless actually nung paggamit ko sa phone na to. No matter what app or game I use. May pag-init sa phone, especially kapag masyado mo na siyang matagal na ginagamit. Pero na to the point naman na mapapasok ka. So, it's tolerable. But I wanna pay attention lang guys kasi the S21 Ultra doesn't have an expandable storage. Wala rin siyang headphone jack if that is still a surprise for you. And medyo na-disappoint lang din ako na ang base level ng S21 Ultra ay 128GB because that doesn't seem so ultra at all. If you're someone who really maximizes phones, yung talagang alam nyo yun guys, every 2 years, every 3 years bago kayo mag-upgrade, consider opting for a smartphone with a higher storage like opting for a 256GB. Lalo na again, hindi nga siya expandable storage. Payong kaibigan lang naman guys. Okay, battery and charging. Alam nyo, hinihingal na ako. <laughs> Nakapagod mag-full review pero kailangan dahil hinahanap-hanap nyo siya until now. Meron siyang 5,000 mAh of battery capacity. Uulitin ko, wala siyang charger inside the box. Pero kung kayo ay nakapag-pre-order nung una pa lang, maswerte ka dahil may libre kayong charger. Anyway, if you guys will be buying naman the S21 Ultra until April 30, meron kayong free 25 watt power brick. 5,000 mAh for me is enough, but kung kayo ay naka 120Hz, kasabay ng Quad HD resolution for the display, battery life will be a little bit challenging. The phone doesn't support 45 watt. Hindi lang actually itong phone na to, but the whole S21 series. And it is only capable up to 25 watt of fast charging. Which, I know, it doesn't seem so ultra. And based na rin naman sa naging experience ko with the phone since matagal ko na siyang nagagamit. According to Samsung, the 25 watt has been optimized enough to the point na kapag gumamit kayo ng 45 watt charger, it will really help. So kami, whenever we charge the S21 Ultra, ginagamit namin yung mga 45 watt power bricks that we have at home or here in the studio. And masasabi ko na nakakatulong nga talaga siya instead of using the regular fast charging 25 watt power brick. But if you guys are still curious, kapag kayo ay gumamit ng 25 watt power brick, especially yung sa Samsung nga, you'll be able to charge the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra for 1 hour and 15 minutes. Based lang naman ito sa naging test namin. The question, Mary, should we buy the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra? Una, you should buy it if gusto nyo ng epic camera zoom capability. So far, yung Samsung cameras na meron tayo dito sa Ultra is the most fun to use. Buy it if you also need the most powerful Android device right now. Lalo na if you need a smartphone that can handle multiple tasks at once. Or in short, if you want a phenomenally great performance on a smartphone. Lastly guys, if you want S Pen features and the fan kayo ng S series ng Samsung. Don't get me wrong guys, I know a lot of people who are into the Note series of Samsung and people who are into S series of Samsung. Yung talagang yung inaabangan-abangan nila and they don't really like mixing up. Now, don't buy it if kung gusto nyo lang naman ng very advanced stylus 
features. I know it's compatible with an S Pen, pero hindi Note S Pen level. And lastly, wag kayong bumili, syempre, kung hindi siya pasok sa budget nyo. If you don't have that extra money naman for the S21 Ultra, because again, for me, it's for the pro users. It's for those who are looking for that extra features on a smartphone. Meron pa naman silang mga cheaper smartphones, like again, the S21, which is my favorite smartphone among the series. And the S21 Ultra, if you want a more advanced specs than the S21. So yeah, that is it guys, para sa ating napakahabang video for the S21 Ultra. I really hope guys, I was able to answer all of your requests para sa S21 Ultra. Again, it's your Tiger Mary and see you on my next video. Bye guys!